Hey everybody, welcome back to Kim Folk Farm. Appreciate you guys stopping by and checking out my channel today. We're down here at my son-in-law and my daughter's place. We're going to get out and do a little deer hunting. Uh, it's getting towards the end of the season. January 12th is our last day and I'd like to try to get one more deer before this is over. Uh, I've gotten four so far. It's been a pretty good season. Uh, here in Meriwether County, the rules are crazy. You got to have four points on one side for a buck and all. We've seen tons of deer this year. It's been a great year. But uh, we're going to get out and do some deer hunting. I'm going to tell you, it is hard to get up at 5.30 in the morning on your off day. <laughs> uh, since I've been doing this since the middle of September, it is really getting hard. I laid in that bed and stared at that clock probably 10 minutes before I decided, okay, yeah, you better go. But uh, we're going to get out here and try it again. And for you guys that are new, I've been getting a lot of subs here lately. I'm really enjoying that, getting a lot of subs. Appreciate you guys stopping by and, and subscribing to my channel and sticking around. Uh, but for you guys that are new to my channel, I'm not a trophy hunter, so don't think you're going to see some big, you may <laughs> see some big buck, I hope, but I'm a meat hunter. I hunt for meat um, because we love deer meat. We don't raise cows, and we try not to buy any meat from the store at all, uh, and so red, uh, our red meat <clears throat> comes from the woods. We hunt, and we shoot. we're allowed 12 in the state of Georgia, so we try to shoot just as many as we possibly can. But today we're going to get out here and try to shoot us a deer. Uh, if I see one decent doe uh, or, a, you know, a four point on one side, but we're going to go ahead and shoot it. Uh, try to get some more deer meat in the freezer before this thing is over. And I also want to show you guys my daughter and my son-in-law's uh, spots. If I can remember when I get down, I'm going to cross, walk over across the property and we'll video uh, where they're breaking ground on their new home. I want you guys to do me a favor and go check out Homestead in the Right Way. That's my son-in-law and my daughter's channel and all my grandbabies. <clears throat> they got a channel, Homesteading the Right Way, W-R-I-G-H-T. That's their last name. So um, they just put out a video where they're breaking ground. They've been uh, living with us for the last three years, saving and saving and saving. He bought 57 acres out here. Now they're starting to build their home, and things are just coming together. He's the hardest working guy ever, and... Uh, it's just coming together. They finally broke ground and everybody's super excited about it. So I wanted to take you guys over there and just show you where they're breaking ground. And then when you get done watching this, you go check out their video where they broke ground. Super cool video. Uh, but stick around. We're going to get out here and see if we can't get a deer. I know the sun's coming up. But today's really funny. It's 55 degrees right now. We had a huge storm. It lasted all day yesterday, all up into the night. It's out of here now. Hopefully. They said it's a 30% chance this morning. But that's the wind's going to blow all that out. And the temperature is supposed to plummet down to 30 in the mid 30s um, by sometime this afternoon. So I'm going to hang in here till late this afternoon. And hopefully that 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 wind and cool air dropping with all that rain. Have done. Hopefully this will get these deer on their feet. Uh, I'm super excited. Like I say, I, I had a hard time getting up, but I heard all the weather reports and all that. And I said, I got to try to get out here one more time. But guys, I appreciate y'all checking us out. Stick around. We're going to get out here and see if we can't get us a deer. I don't know if y'all can hear that wind. I'm sure y'all can. That wind is blowing like crazy. It's almost noon. I think it's about time for me to call it. My face has done got froze. I can't help keep looking to see if something's gonna step out. But that temperature has just plummeted. It has dropped. It's done got freezing cold. And the wind is blowing like crazy. And me and wind, I just don't, I can handle the cold. I can't handle that wind. It's got my ears all <laughs> cold. But I'm going to get down and carry all this stuff back to the truck. And I want to show you guys where Travis is breaking and my daughter's breaking ground on their new home. So stick around. I think y'all get a kick. I got something else I want to talk to you guys about to, uh, too. So stick around. I think y'all will be interested in this. Okay, guys. We're on the other side of the property now. Uh, we got everything. I warmed up a little bit. I sat in the truck for a minute. Well, I was freezing. That wind was cutting through me like a knife. But I wanted to talk to you guys about something. Uh, 
I had a, a couple of requests this week <laughs> that sort of shocked me a little bit. People want to come out and visit my farm. I think that's kind of cool. Uh, I told them, dang, listen, look at that. That's a nice deer track right there. Y'all see that? <laughs> they cut right through here. Dang it. That was this morning too. But I had a couple of requests of people to want to come out and visit the farm. I had a fireman out in Sonoy, uh, and, uh, let's see, Fayetteville. I had a uh, fireman right down the road. I think that's pretty cool. I had another YouTube channel uh, here in Georgia that asked if uh, they could come out and visit our farm. Sorry about the wind, guys. It's still real windy. But uh, I had another channel want to come out and do a little collaboration with me. Uh, Soil Mates of Georgia. Go check those guys out. They're a pretty cool channel. Uh, but I wanted to talk to my family about it first. I knew as I started growing, maybe something like this would happen, and which is no problem. Uh, but we were kind of blown away at that. People want to come out and visit, <laughs> you know. Uh, we really don't care. Well, I think what we're going to do is wait till the spring or summer when we actually got a little more going on. This time of year, we don't have anything going on. Our pigs are gone. Our meat chickens are done. Uh, all we basically have is male and, you know, a couple of turkeys and a few chickens, McQuail, of course. But uh, not a lot going on this time of year. I'd, I'd rather, if we had people come out, we would rather do it in the spring or summer when, we're, when maybe we're doing our meat chickens, we got our pigs, uh, we're, we're handling our muscadine vines. We're just doing a little more stuff out there that we can actually get out there and video and talk about. And uh, maybe a lot of you guys have never raised meat chickens before and want to learn about that. That was really fascinating to me and Travis when we started doing it. Uh, and pretty simple, but but we're thinking more about the spring or summer, having some people coming out. My wife, she was pretty excited about it. She's talking about cooking out a bunch of stuff and and uh, just having a real good time. And somebody's dog's been down here too. I like it right after it rained. It just rained all last night. It makes me wish I'd have hunted on this side this morning. But anyway, that's what I wanted to talk about uh, was uh, people wanting to come visit the farm, which we had no problem with, but we want to sort of wait till spring or summer. Because uh, we already knew once we got our muscadines in and we wanted to start selling muscadines, we're going to have people uh, coming in anyway and hopefully bringing me a bunch of money <laughs> to buy my muscadines. But uh, that was our plan with the muscadine vineyard was to have a ton of people uh, uh, turn it into a U pick. Everybody come in and pick what they want. But anyway, we're here where Travis and him are breaking ground. You can see that's, if you ever watch his videos, that's where uh, we have planted uh, all his pecan trees. And actually right there is where me and Mason shot our first deer together, me and my grandson. We were hunting little tree stand right there that's where we shot our first deer together so we can always say that this is going to be their front yard and right over here is where their house is going to be so pretty cool stuff super muddy out here i don't want to get out here and walk around much super muddy but this is going to be their basement this is going to be where their house is going to be we just come walking in from down there that's the front yard and it's just going to be a cool place just gonna be a cool place. I just thought I would give my son-in-law and my daughter and all those guys a plug on my channel because uh, we couldn't be more proud for my son-in-law, my daughter. We could. They just they have done so well uh, staying with us. Like I said, they lived with us for three years and uh, they saved their money and uh, just living the American dream. Just working hard, going out buying land, getting ready to build a house. Just doing everything right. We couldn't be more proud of them. Uh, but I want to give those guys a shout out. Give you got those. Uh, give Travis a plug for his channel. Go check out the right. Uh oh, homesteading the right way. <laughs> he just changed the name of his channel. Homesteading the right way. W R I G H T. Go check him out. He just put out a video about all this when they were do, out here working like crazy. Uh, really cool video. So go check those guys out. Uh, also check out Soil, Soil Mates of Georgia. That's a really cool channel. Um, like I say, they've been wanting to come out and do some things around the farm. But like I say, I want to I wait till spring or summer for that. Uh, 
So hopefully we'll have a good time this spring or summer, have a bunch of folks out and cook out and, and uh, make some cool videos and check out some pigs and chickens and just have a really good time. But guys, I want to say thank y'all so much for checking out my channel. Thanks for subscribing, all you guys. I love y'all to death. Thanks uh, so much. Thanks for all the comments. Uh, sorry we didn't kill a deer today, but that's deer hunting, you know. Sometimes you see them, and sometimes you don't. Most of the time you don't. <laughs> At least I don't. But guys, I just want to say I love y'all to death. Uh, keep the comments coming. Do me a favor, like, share, subscribe, all that good stuff, and I will see you on the next video.